What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. Tonight I'm going to show you guys how to transfer any type of file from within any Linux distribution to any Android device. Now this sounds like a pretty lofty task, but it's actually really simple. Now I'm, I'm not actually going to be doing this using the MTP method. I've done videos on that in the past. If you're interested, just search my channel. And the reason for that is I think it's just very unreliable and it's buggy in Linux. Uh, now the method I'm using tonight will actually work if you're running Mac OS X or even Windows, um, but I think it's probably one of the best methods if you're running a Linux desktop on how to transfer files. Now one of the most commonly transferred files for me is music. Uh, I move uh, music back and forth on my device all the time, so I'm going to move some music files uh, from my uh, sp a separate hard drive uh, over to uh, my Android device, which is a Motorola X running KitKat. So, uh, this particular method, you're going to need two things. One, an FTP client. I'm going to be using FileZilla. Now, FileZilla is pretty much a staple when it comes to FTP clients. De regardless of what uh, Linux distribution you're using, you should be able to find this in the default repositories without any trouble. Just use uh, your favorite package manager, or if you rather, uh, just install it right from the terminal, and that's it. Uh, nothing special you've got to do with FileZilla. We're going to need an application, an FTP app for our Android device, however. So um, if we come over to the Google Play Store and type in uh, FTP, one of the top hits is FTP Server by the Olive Tree. That's the application we're going to be using today. And it's fairly simple. Um, it gives some really basic options. It's not hard to set up at all. Um, so go ahead and install those two applications. And I'm going to go over here to my Android device. Now, as you can see, when you click on the application, um, it's going to say, press the button to start FTP server. All right. So once you do that, uh, this information is going to pop up. Um, take note as to this particular address here. Right after FTP colon forward slash forward slash, you're going to see a number usually beginning with 192. And uh, the end of that address ends here at the colon. So what we're going to want to do is come back to FileZilla, and under the host section, we're going to want to type that in. So I'm going to type in mine. All right. Now, username. It's going to say here that it's Francis by default, and the password is also Francis. We're going to use the defaults here. All right. Now the port. Right after uh, the end of the FTP web address, you're going to see a colon and then this number, 2221. That's the port. Now, one of the other things I want to draw your attention to is um, home directory is defaulted to forward slash MNT forward slash SD card. If you come into the options, okay, you can change a whole no uh, host of things, but right here where it says home directory, you can click on that, a file browser is going to pop up, and you can select whatever you'd like for a home directory. I selected my SD card. Now, um, the path to my SD card is not forward slash MNT forward slash SD card. It's just a forward slash SD card. All right, so you can change that there. Um, you can transfer files over your home network using Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or even your mobile data connection. Uh, I have it set for um, uh, Wi-Fi. So, uh, you know, you can choose whatever you like, or there's even an all option, I believe. You can change your username and the password as well. So let's go back over here. And after you select your default home directory and you hit Quick Connect, you're going to see now that my default home directory is being shown, which is my SD card. This is everything on my SD card. Now, if we select music, it's going to go here into um, my music on my SD card. And if I want to transfer something, if you notice here in the left-hand pane, um, we're going to transfer an entire directory, um, some good old Blink-182. Um, so what we want to do, and now you can do one directory, you could do one file, doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to do all three albums. So the way we do that is if you highlight whatever you'd like to transfer, you can either drag and drop it or if you right click and just hit upload. This actually goes really, really fast. It tells you down here that we have 40 some odd files queued. Um, it tells you how many we've, they've successfully transferred. 
Now, um, as these things are successfully transferred, it actually removes them from the queue so you can kind of keep track as to where you are in the process. Again, I find this method to be far more reliable uh, and it's actually really quick. Uh, I was using ADB found within the Android SDK to move files, push and pull them from my device. I even went ahead and created a um, script using ADB as the back end and Zenity as the uh, front end. Are we done already? Looks like we are. Wow, that was quick. All right, so it looks like it transferred everything. If we come back over here to our device in the right hand pane and we uh, select Blink 182, it should have all of these songs. And it does. So, yeah, like I was saying, I actually created a bash script, which you can see here it uses uh, ADB as the back end uses Zenity um, as the front end and just to show you guys uh, what I have so far and it's actually still a work in progress um, if I run um, the script a little dialog box pops up says press OK to begin file transfer then um, here uh, you're going to see a um, another dialog you can uh, navigate to your music directory, or this would work for anything. It's going to ask you once you select um, what you'd like to transfer, where you'd like to transfer it to. And I've got it defaulted to the SD card. Um, you can actually retype this path to whatever you want it to be, but um, you know, if it's music, you can do music. If it's movies, so on and so forth. And then. Um, it's going to give you a nice little dialog box to let you know, um, uh, you know, that the file's transferring. And then once it's done, it's going to tell you it's complete. Um, the only issue that I have with this is it only does one file at a time right now. I've got to work on the script a little bit um, to get it to do multiple files, and I haven't worked the pull option yet. So if I wanted to pull uh, files from my device, I haven't really worked that out yet either. But I just started working on this uh, today, so. Um, if I can get this working, I'll uh, demonstrate, you know, to my liking, I'll demonstrate how that works uh, for you guys in a separate video. Um, but in terms of being able to transfer files to and from uh, your Linux desktop to your Android device, you can use this F FTP method. And as you can see, it's extremely quick, it's extremely reliable, and it's not distribution dependent, meaning, you know, you don't have to have a specific distribution of Linux to do this. Um, you can do it from any distribution to any Android device. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if so, uh, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, um, like the video, share the video, consider uh, subscribing to my channel if you like this type of content. I produce regular content, um, both Linux and Android related, and um, I'd appreciate it if you guys uh, subscribed. And, you know, I think I have a um, a wealth of videos, uh, especially tutorials, uh, show you guys how to do all sorts of uh, really neat things with your Linux desktop and uh, even your Android device. So I uh, appreciate the support, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll catch you later.